India is one of the crown jewels of biodiversity on the planet. It is home to a vast array of birds, reptiles, and more than 400 different mammal species. Over half of the wild tigers on Earth live in India. It's also home to the largest population of Asian elephants and almost all of the Indian rhinos. But like all over the world, human population and development are spreading into animal habitat at an alarming rate, leading to a catastrophic decline of India's wildlife. And animals are suffering. The loss of suitable habitat leads desperate animals into conflict with humans. And poaching leads to incredible suffering. The responsibility of the human species to save animals from cruelty, I think, is absolutely fundamental. The International Fund for Animal Welfare and Wildlife Trust of India are working together as the guardians of India's precious wildlife. Animals get in trouble. Babies get separated from their mothers, animals get hit on the road, animals get stuck in ditches. Injured and orphaned elephants are brought to our wildlife rescue center. And we have to rescue them. Once doomed to a life of captivity, our team pioneered groundbreaking techniques to rehabilitate and release orphaned elephants back to the wild. In 2015, we received video evidence showing two calves named Rani and Tora adopted by a wild herd. Our rescue center in Kaziranga is like an emergency room triage to the most incredible and unusual animals on the planet. Whatever it is, whatever those animals are, we rescue them all. You never know what will come through the door next. It's a project so innovative, it was featured in an hour-long special on National Geographic Wild. To date, we have given 10 orphaned rhinos a second chance. In 2014, we confirmed that all three of our rehabilitated females have given birth, moving us closer to our goal of repopulating Manas National Park. In Northeast India, we have established a one-of-a-kind bear rehabilitation center. Poachers killed their mothers, and now the orphan cubs are taught how to live in the wild. So far, we have released 38 bears back to their wild home. Then come the monsoons. Every year, hundreds of animals are swept away by the rising waters or starved from a shortage of food. We've developed an emergency response network to train rescuers to help desperate animals. In parts of India, tigers and humans have clashed for generations. Our tiger work attacks the problem from several different angles. We save individual tigers from conflict situations. Train frontline rangers in anti poaching techniques. Identify and secure critical tiger habitat corridors. And assist in law enforcement operations for arresting criminals. Recently, the government of India announced that the wild tiger population has rebounded a revolutionary victory for years of innovative work by a group of dedicated partners. If we want to see a real, lasting change, 
we know we need to look to the communities living with wildlife. In a country with 1.2 billion people, you need to spread the word uh, far and wide. We hold workshops with villagers and educators to teach animal action education, which guides future generations to make informed decisions that improve the lives of people and animals. My favorite animal is the tiger. I love elephants. I love lions. Save tigers. I don't want to grow up in a world without elephants. I would like to tell everyone that let wildlife be wild. Wild animals belong in the wild. Please save tigers and please save our world. Only by working hand in hand with communities throughout India will we be able to protect India's animal diversity. A treasure too precious to lose. To find out how you can help, visit ifaw.org.